Buongiorno e buona festa delle ma della mamma a tutti voi. Uh, good morning and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are connected. Um, so uh, we offer this Mass today pro popolo for all our parishioners, especially for all mothers. Uh, but we have also uh, some specific intentions. We offer it for Maria, in honor of Maria Santissima di Monteverde, Paul Bagnato, Arcangela d'Armiento, Luisa e Adelina Carlesimo, Maria di Lena, Maria Iorio, Pina Calabrese, Marino, Guglielma Iaboni e Yolanda Tamburini, Vita Maria de Vivo, Crescenza Mossa, Maria Mondelli, Arcangel Cetrone, Maria Ivancevic, Nicolina Puopolo, Silvia Emma Rossi, and for all mothers and mother figures of all kinds, either alive or deceased, on the occasion of Mother's Day. We also have uh, um, an intention for Irma Ongaro, Mary Stewart, Stewart, Domenico Gratta, Maria Sanita, Jessica Piccinin, Guido D'Alessio e Maria Gentile. Nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo, il Signore sia con voi. Con il tuo Spirito. Fratelli e sorelle, per celebrare degnamente i santi misteri, riconosciamo ora i nostri peccati. Signore nostra pace, abbi pietà di noi. Signore. Cristo nostra Pasqua, abbi pietà di noi. Signore nostra vita, abbi pietà di noi. Dio Onnipotente, abbia misericordia di noi, perdoni i nostri peccati e ci conduca alla vita eterna. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now during those days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. And the twelve called together the whole community of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. 
Therefore, brothers, select from among yourselves seven men of good standing, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this task, while we, for our part, will devote ourselves to prayer and to serving the word. What they said pleased the whole community, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a convert of Antioch. They had these men stand before the apostles, who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of God continued to spread. The number of the disciples increased greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. La prima lettera di San Pietro Apostolo. Carissimi, avvicinandovi al Signore pietra viva, rifiutata dagli uomini ma scelta e preziosa davanti a Dio, quali pietra vive siete costruiti anche voi come edificio, edificio spirituale per un sacerdozio santo e per offrire sacrifici spirituali graditi a Dio, mediante Gesù Cristo. Si legge infatti nella scrittura, ecco io pongo in Sion un pietra di angolo, scelta, preziosa, e chi crede in essa non resterà deluso. Onore dunque a voi che credete, ma per quelli che non credono la pietra che i costruttori hanno scattato è diventata pietra di angolo e sasso di inciampo, pietra di scandalo. Essi vi inciampano perché non obbediscono alla parola. A questo erano destinati. Voi invece siete stirpe eletta, sacerdozio regale, nazione santa, popolo che Dio si è acquistato perché proclami le opere ammirevoli di Lui, che vi ha chiamato dalle tenebre alla sua luce meravigliosa. Parola di Dio. Amen. 
be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples do not let your hearts be troubled you have faith in god have faith also in me in my father's house there are many dwelling places if there were not would i have told you that i am going to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells, the Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and I will do greater ones than these, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. You know, uh, this Gospel really... Um, it's, it's, it's really profound, and uh, I know also that it's uh, um, the gospel that Father Victor also uh, prefers and likes and uses a lot for during funerals. Um, and uh, uh, and this, uh, this first sentence of Jesus, uh, I hope that we can bring home with that. Well, you're already home, uh, but that you can, they can reach your homes. And, uh, uh, and in the, what Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Just before uh, talking about that, I wanted to give an example of uh, something that I said on Friday, actually, because Friday we had the same gospel of today. And I was reflecting about the life of Jesus. You know the joke, right, that uh, they say that Jesus was Italian. Uh, you know why? Because he stayed 30 years at home with his parents. And, uh, but beside this joke, which of course is funny, uh, and he reveals a lot of truth about us Italians, but if you think about it, he stayed 30 years at home, and then just three years of mission. 
Mother Teresa spent a lot of time in adoration and prayer. And the rest, she did so much good that we know she became a saint among the poorest of the poor. And people say, well, what if Jesus would have spent less time at home and more in mission? He would have done more good. Probably, without doubt. But Mother Teresa, um, what if she spent a little less time, not much, a little less time in prayer and more time at work? She would have done more good. There I say, probably. I don't know. I'm not sure. Because without that, uh, those roots, right, in prayer um, and uh, time with the Lord, without that time within the family, Jesus would not have been doing the mission. And that's why I was reflecting about this, because we are all troubled about this time. Why can't we get together again? Why can't we open the churches? We could do much more. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, I'm, 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 you know, I, I hope we can open uh, whenever it's safe soon. But I'm just saying, this time maybe it's providential. Without this time, maybe we will not long even more for the Eucharist, for Jesus, for the community. I miss the community, and I'm sure you miss it too. I miss being able to meet with people, not on Zoom, on, in, in, on a platform of some sort, but real life. I miss that. And, uh, but it is necessary, perhaps, for us to have that longing. And that's why Jesus knows that our hearts is troubled. And says, do not let your hearts be troubled. And, uh, and there's something about that in English which uh, maybe you can comment uh, if, if I'm mistaken, please. But this um, sentence, do not let your hearts, it's almost like Jesus saying, don't provoke your hearts into trouble. And we provoke it and people provoke it. And so Jesus says, don't let your hearts be troubled. And uh, in that sense, how do we provoke it? How do people provoke it? Well, I think it's quite obvious, right? How people provoke our trouble, how we provoke our own trouble. But I want to give you an example of, uh, my, of my sister. My sister adopted a, my niece. She can't uh, have children. And so my sister and my brother-in-law uh, were blessed with this uh, uh, girl uh, that is uh, so smart. She's about seven, and she has deep questions about her life. And today, that is Mother Day, you know, she was uh, crying, crying with my sister, and makes my sister cry, makes me, you know, uh, almost cry, because she was begging my sister to answer this question, why did my parents leave me? What's wrong with me? Why? Uh, and, and then she was saying something very deep that, surprised all of us. She was saying, I wish I could know if before leaving me, my mo mother um, kissed me at least once, right? And so I was saying, you know, these questions are like a 15-year-old girl question, and she can't uh, comprehend, of course, anything we would try to say with our broken examples. And so I, I, I told her to, to, to do this. To, uh, my sister always has espresso with the pods, the machine, right? You put the pod, and it's done. So I said, for once, do it different. Do differently. When she asks you that question, tell her, Maria, come with me. Let's make coffee, but let's make it with the stove machine, you know, the stove uh, top uh, espresso machine. So you fill the water, and there's the filter you put in, and, you, and I said, put the coffee in the filter, and then take that filter, which you're supposed to put inside the stove top, put, try, give it to her, and say, now, Maria, put it inside the pod machine. And Maria was like, what? What are you doing, Mama? Why, why are you saying this? You can't do that. It does not fit. And so my sister said, exactly. You see, you have beautiful questions. Ask those questions. But you need to understand that we may not have the answers. Or we try to give you answers, but they may not fit inside of you because those questions are too deep. 
I'm sure you have questions, I have questions, right? When they are so deep, and so sometimes we don't have an answer. And the church is not saying, well, there is no answer, sorry. No, there, we have answers, we have broken answers. But ultimately, you know, our mind can't comprehend. That's why don't let your hearts be troubled. The Lord doesn't say to us, live as if everything is fine. Don't ask those questions. Uh, but it's, it's uh, urging us to not let our hearts into trouble. And who better than Mother Mary? You know, I was, uh, today we, have, uh, we are offering Masses also for the mothers. And I know some of you that are connected, we offer the Mass without giving uh, details. But I know that you lost uh, uh, your child. Who better than Mother Mary understands you? Right? Who better than her understands you if you suffer for your son or your daughter that you lost? Right? Who better than her understands the difficulties that we go through? We can, maybe in a broken way, but who better than her? And so that's why today we, we entrust, you know, that we, we uh, let our hearts and people lead our hearts into trouble, right? Um, because they are broken too. And so we entrust our life to her because she can console us. She can console you. I can't. But so, like a, a friend that stays beside you with, with, that doesn't have answers, perhaps tries to fix you but can't, so does Mother Mary. Uh, this stays by you and helps you and guides you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Let's ask this grace in this time of Easter. Let's not forget that it's Easter, right? That uh, all our troubles, all our um, anxiety too, and are redeemed by this resurrection that makes us resurrected too. We suffer, we struggle, but we are resurrected. So let us ask God this grace. Dicevo brevemente che oggi in questa domenica eh, il Signore ci invita a non ehm, avere paura. Dice la, 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 il, il brano in, in italiano non sia turbato il vostro cuore. E in inglese la traduzione è come se dicesse non permettete al vostro cuore di turbarsi. Non permettete, oppure non portate il vostro cuore a turbarsi. Perché lo facciamo e altri lo fanno, no? Quando uno si arrabbia con te, ti turba il cuore. Quando succede una disgrazia, ti turba il cuore. Il cuore è turbato. Non sia turbato il vostro cuore. Abbiate fede in me, abbiate fede anche nel Padre. E dicevano, questo, parlava di questa fiducia e parlava un po' di questa, eh, dell'esperienza un po' della mia nipotina che sta vivendo un momento di crisi molto profonda e è stata eh, adottata e, e ora sta vivendo delle domande profondissime, ma che ma neanche una, una di 15 anni forse si domanda, eh, chiedeva perché i miei genitori mi hanno abbandonato, ma che cosa c'è di male che mi dovessero abbandonare e, e perché eh, non posso sapere se almeno la mia mamma prima di lasciarmi mi ha dato un bacio almeno una volta. <ride> Ti fa piangere, no? Una cosa del genere. Perché cosa le dici? Non sia turbato il vostro cuore. Davvero che questa esperienza no, di, di, di crisi, di eh, difficoltà no, di, che stiamo vivendo tutti noi, eh, che sia un momento che possa portare frutto. E dicevo all'inizio questo esempio no, di Madre Teresa, lo dicevo anche venerdì, Madre Teresa eh, che, che ha speso un sacco di, di energie, di tempo tra i poveri, ma mai tanto quanto il tempo che ha speso davanti al Santissimo in orazione, in preghiera, in contemplazione. Gesù, 30 anni a casa e tre in missione. C'è chi dice, ma perché non ha speso più tempo in missione? Avrebbe fatto più, più bene. Sì, però ha voluto insegnare a noi eh, il bene del rimanere in famiglia, il bene di rispettare i genitori, il bene dell'esperienza con i genitori, che alle volte non è facile. <ride> Il, il bene dell'esperienza dei genitori con i figli, che non è facile. Eh, e, e come anche per Madre Teresa e per Gesù, hanno speso questo tempo che era necessario, 
con Dio, forse anche per noi ora, in questo tempo che non possiamo ritrovarci, che non riusciamo a capire perché non possiamo tornare in Chiesa, è necessario forse per dar darci più desiderio di Lui. Allora chiediamo al Signore questa grazia di poter eh, avere queste radici in Lui, che questo albero, questa nostra vita, possa avere le radici in Lui e non sia turbato il nostro cuore. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now with that trust of a son to her mother, toward her father, let us ask the Lord this grace, um, these uh, prayers and petitions for us and the, and the community. For the Church, a community of young and old, called to firm faith and enduring love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Diciamo insieme, preghiamo, ascoltaci, O oh Signore, ascoltaci, O oh Signore per una fine delle persecuzioni tra le nazioni e tra i popoli, preghiamo. Ascoltaci, o oh Signore. For those among us who are poor, lonely, and seeking God's consolation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Per ogni mamma oggi, in ringraziamento per la loro testimonianza amorevole, preghiamo. Ascoltaci, o oh Signore. For all those who are sick and suffering, especially for Anthony Barone, Julia Alonso, Maria Scolaro, Luca Newman, Silvia Emma Rossi, Sharon Butler, Camela Brusatin, Sandra Flores, Tony Lombardo, Patrick Brugert, Rosa Maria Santos, Michelle Lee, Gabriel Romano, Emilia Veloso, Nancy Dolson, Armando Crispino, Tina Colacci, Pietro Cupani, e, and Carlo Ciampini, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who have been affected by the COVID virus in one way or another, for those in hospital, for the most vulnerable, for short aims, for prisoners, and those who feel alone and isolated, for those who have lost their jobs, for those who have died, and for frontline workers of all types who risk their health daily in order to provide essential services. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Per tutti coloro che un modo o un altro sono stati colpiti dal virus, per gli ammalati e sofferenti negli ospedali, per i prigionieri e senza tetto, per gli anziani e coloro che si sentono soli e isolati, per quelli che hanno perso il lavoro, per quelli che sono morti e per ogni tipo di lavoratore di prima linea che rischia la propria salute ogni giorno per fornire servizi essenziali. Preghiamo. Ascoltaci, Ascoltaci oh Signore. Signore. For those who have died, especially for Sarah Adi and Anna Marcella di Ostilio, and for the intentions of this Mass already mentioned, We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Per le nostre intenzioni personali e per tutti coloro che ci hanno chiesto di pregare, preghiamo. Ascoltaci, oh Signore. Signore. Ascolta, Signore, tutte le nostre preghiere nel nostro cuore e accoglile nel tuo amore per intercessione della tua Madre, Vergine Maria. Per Cristo nostro Signore. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise, for the praise and glory, of, and glory his of His name, for, for our, our good, good and the good, good of all His holy, holy, church. holy Church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Padre veramente santo, fonte di ogni santità, santifica questi doni con l'effusione del tuo Spirito, perché diventino per noi il corpo e il sangue di Gesù Cristo, nostro Signore. Egli, offrendosi liberamente alla sua passione, prese il pane e rese grazie, lo spezzò, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, «Prendete e mangiatene tutti, questo è il mio corpo» offerto in sacrificio per voi. Dopo la cena, allo stesso modo, prese il calice, rese grazie, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse «Prendete e bevetene tutti, questo è il calice del mio sangue» per la nuova ed eterna alleanza, versato per voi e per tutti in remissione dei peccati. Fate questo in memoria di me. Mistero della fede
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all who pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. La pace del Signore sia sempre con voi. Scambiatevi un segno di pace. gli invitati alla cena del Signore, ecco l'agnello di Dio che toglie i peccati del mondo. O Signore, non sono degno di partecipare alla tua mensa, ma di soltanto una parola e io sarò salvato.
Today being Mother's Day, we would like to acknowledge all the mothers uh, that we know, our own mothers, of course, and the mothers that perhaps uh, already passed away, your own mothers. And so we have uh, a little uh, song that we would like to uh, sing, uh, that Luigi will sing for us, uh, both in Italian and one in English, to uh, thank uh, Mother Mary uh, for being this um, role of mother in our lives in the church, uh, and that gave us our own mothers, and so to thank them in this uh, special way, and thank you, mothers, uh, for all you do for us. Eh, dicevo che adesso faremo un momento di preghiera attraverso dei canti, eh, un canto in italiano e uno in inglese eh, dedicato alle madri eh, che hanno fatto tanto per noi, eh, forse qualche madre che già è passata al cielo, qualche madre che è ancora qui con noi, per tutte queste madri, le figure anche di madri nella nostra vita, allora offriamo questo canto per voi.
with a gentle Preghiamo. I don't think we have announcements. Uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. And uh, I guess, yeah, the regular daily mass at 9 a.m. and then the Sunday mass at 10. I don't, yeah, I thought we had announcements for a moment. I was confused. <laughs> Preghiamo. Assisti, Signore, il tuo popolo, che hai colmato della grazia di questi santi misteri, e fa che passiamo dalla decadenza del peccato alla pienezza della vita nuova. Per Cristo nostro Signore. Amen. So just before the final blessing, once again, uh, a big thank you and uh, happy Mother's Day to all mothers. A big kiss to all of you. Un grande bacio, abbraccio a tutte le madri che siete lì, che siete collegati. È una grande festa della mamma a tutti voi. Il Signore sia con voi. E con il tuo spirito. Vi benedica Dio Onipotente, Padre, Figlio e Spirito Santo. Amen. La messa è finita, andate in pace. Grazie, Grazie, Grazie a, Dio. a Dio. San Michele, Arcangelo, soccorrici nella battaglia e sii il nostro aiuto contro la malizia e le insidie del demonio. Che Dio lo sottoponga, supplici lo chiediamo. E tu, Principe della Milizia Celeste, per virtù divina ricaccia nell'inferno Satana e gli altri maligni che vagano nel mondo per la rovina delle anime. Amen. Happy Sunday to all of you, happy Mother's Day. Buona domenica e buona festa della mamma.